what's going on guys it's your boy Luba we back again making more tutorials and in this video I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a CCE aka color correction it's super easy simple you know what I'm saying so to get this you want to download the plugin below it's called like magic bullet you want to download that because this will give you effects that I'm gonna be using later on after this you want to open your effects library Go to your toolbox, open this toolbox, go over to effects, add an adjustment clip, and this is where we're gonna add our CC. Because if we add it on the clip, we gotta go clip by clip, and it's just gonna take you way too much time. We're gonna do a little bit more uh, 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 warming type CC in this video, but as but I'm gonna be teaching you how to see the basics on this, like the things you always want to do. Okay, after this, you want to press your open VFX in your effects library. Add fill. It says RG Magic Bullet. You want to drag this to your adjustment clip. You want to go where it says open V. Oh, this looks pretty shitty in my opinion. So with strength, you want to put this to 50. You always want to have this to 50 or 60. That's just like, like the norm. And it, because if you do it on 100, it looks pretty bad. Like look, look how bad it looks on 100. So that's why you always want to put it on 50. After this, you want to go over says my footages. And I usually like putting to video. And then for a negative stock, you can you have to mess around with these if you want like your own kind of CC. But for this CC, since I've already done this CC multiple times, it's pretty easy. I just use Fujiyama or Al. 500D and then Kodak, I just use full Yama 300. I don't fucking know how to say these words. And then for color temperature, since this, this is a warm CC, I'm gonna do 50. The more, the, if it's like 100, it's a lot warm, more warmer. And if you do it to the negative, it's like cold. It's cold. It's a cold type CC. And then for tint, it's basically hue. It's a little, well, it's not hue, it's like, gives a different. There's two to see, two to see. I don't messing around with these two. I don't mess with this a lot. And then for exposure, oh shit. Bruh. Gotta put this to 50 again. Bruh. My computer is dying right now. Holy shit. And then for exposure, I'm gonna do a little bit of 0.6. You know, just slight. And then for contrast, I'm gonna leave it like that. So I can Vintage modern, vintage and vintage modern and vintage. I usually don't mess around with these too much. And then for grain, since I'm gonna add two films, I'm gonna put this to zero. And there we go. That's our first uh, film. And this is usually if you're, and usually you just wanna use one. But in this particular case, I'm gonna use two since I'm gonna be teaching you my CC that I usually use. And then for strength, oh fuck, this is not the one. Whoops, this is the first one. This is the second one. Okay, my footage, as I taught you, video, strength, 50. And then for negative stock, it was one of these problem dudes. No, that's, that's, a, that's not it. Oh, this one looks good. This one looks good. I'm just gonna leave everything like this. Yeah, I'm just gonna do like everything like this. Uh, now there you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna leave everything like this, and I'm gonna add a little bit of grain. And there we go, and that's it. And that's basically our CC almost done. Then we wanna add a sharpen. This will sharpen the footage and it will look pretty shitty. Like it looks pretty bad the first like on the screen, but like you render it out and it's in your laptop, it looks a lot better. It... Oh my god, my laptop is dying. And yeah, that's basically it. That's how you make it simple. Easy. It's easy. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>